Hi everyone, Kiki Eddie here. First of all, I really wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you. I've received so much support and encouragement from my last video. Wheel of Time fans are so kind, and I especially want to give a shout out to the Twitter of Time community for being the best. So with that being said, this video is going to talk about Block 1 for the Wheel of Time on Amazon Prime. If you don't keep up with television production, and honestly before this I knew nothing about it, you might be wondering, what is a production block? When I consulted Google, I found an excellent answer from DragonMount.com's very own Worthead, or Adam Whitehead. Now this was back in 2010 in regards to the production of Game of Thrones, but the information is relevant to Wheel of Time. Adam says, The block system sees several episodes combined into one solid block of filming and production lasting many weeks, maybe a month to two months. This block will involve the same behind-the-scenes personnel and will be designed to maximize efficiency and minimize costs. So episodes set in the same location, using the same guests or recurring actors, and so on, will be combined regardless of the actual transmission order of the episodes. Most notably, the same director will be assigned to the entire block. The block will be prepped, read through, go through pre-production and budget meetings, and then filmed and put through post in one long process. Usually, whilst one block is filming, the next director will be stepping up and prepping the next block, so the actors go from filming one block to the next, sometimes with a short break between them. Adam also says, where this process helps Thrones is that it solves the riddle of how they were going to handle the Daenerys scenes. The idea of the production crew filming for 10 days, flying to Malta, then back again to Northern Ireland for the next episode's Westeros scenes, and then back to Malta again seems hideously inefficient. Under the production block system, they can simply combine all of the Danny scenes into one shooting block and have the individual episode directors fly out to direct their portion in turn. There's a lot more great information, and it's worth reading at the link on the screen. From what's been shown to us, the Wheel of Time seems to have a pretty straightforward production schedule. But try to keep this last part in the back of your head as we go through this video. So, Block 1. What do we know about it? We know it contains episodes 1 and 2. The director for these episodes is Uta Brieswitz. Uta is a German director and cinematographer who has been directing since 2010 according to her IMDb credits. Recent notable projects include Stranger Things, Jessica Jones, Altered Carbon, This Is Us, and Westworld, where her episode Kiksuya has received critical acclaim. The first assistant director is Nick Hexel-Smith. Recent TV credits for him include Outlander and Carnival Row. According to MediaMatch.com, the main duties of the first assistant director are to assist the director, coordinate all production activity, and supervise the cast and crew. They are also in charge of a department of other assistant directors and runners. Overall, they provide the key link between the director, the cast, and the crew, while also liaising with the production office and providing regular progress reports about the shoot. The director of photography for episodes 1 and 2 is David Moxness. A director of photography or cinematographer is the chief over the camera and light crews working on a film, television production, or other live action piece, and is responsible for making artistic and technical decisions related to the image. The study and practice of this field is referred to as cinematography. The cinematographer selects the camera, film stock, lenses, filters, etc. to realize the scene in accordance with the intentions of the director. Recent television shows David Moxness has worked on include Whiskey Cavalier and Lethal Weapon. We know of two directors of photography for the first season of The Wheel of Time, David Moxness and David Luther. Remember the second name for later. Now let's get into the episodes. Episode 1 is called Leave Taking and was written by showrunner and scriptwriter Rafe Judkins. He first revealed the title through Instagram on July 23, 2018, and later shared this snippet about a month later via his Twitter on August 22nd. Episode 2 is called Shadows Waiting and was written by Amanda Kate Schumann, who is a longtime friend and colleague of Rafe's. This episode title was revealed via Rafe's Instagram on July 20th, 2018, and in his post he wrote, Wheel of Time fans should rejoice because A.K. Schumann writes Matt like she was born to it. We also have a snippet of something from episode 2 courtesy of Brandon Sanderson, although by accident, and WattSeries.com. As you can see, Master Hightower drowns after his ferry sinks. It's a small piece of information, but it gives us an idea of the pacing of the show. Now, let's talk about filming. The table read for episodes 1 and 2 was held on Tuesday, September 10th, 2018. 
2019 at Restaurant Manes in Prague. Amazon released a video of the table read on October 2nd, 2019, which you can watch on the show's official Twitter or Instagram accounts. Fans spent a lot of time re-watching the video and doing detective work to identify all of the individuals seated at this table read, and Watseries.com has a great summary and diagram of everyone. I'll put a link to all of those in the description below, and we'll get back to the actors in just a little bit. Principal photography for the show and the block began the next week on Monday, September 16th, 2019. We don't know exactly how long shooting was for this block, but my best estimate puts it at nine weeks, through the first half of November. Now, which actors do we know were filming during this block? I'm sure the actual number is far, far greater than this, but here's a list of notable actors we know were filming during this time. Yosha Strudowski, Marcus Rutherford, Barney Harris, Zoe Robbins, Madeline Madden, Rosamund Pike, Daniel Henney, Michael McElhattan, Christopher Shuareff, Juliet Howland, Lidiana Biutanaseva, Lilibet Biutanaseva, Michael Tuahine, Lolita Chakrabarti, Helena Westerman, Nana Ajay Ampadu, David Stern, Mandy Simmons, Johan Myers, Abdul Salis, Stuart Graham, and Pierce Quigley. Moving on to the locations we know they filmed at during Block 1. The first one is the Emmons Field set, which you can see here via an official picture released by Rafe Judkins. This was the very first location of production. The second location is the country of Slovenia. Much of filming was done in or around the Socha Valley. This location is beautiful and it's the place that's been most photographed by cast and crew by far. Here are some specific locations in Slovenia where the show filmed. Mangart Saddle, Ces Socha, the Socha Riverbed, Napoleon's Bridge, and along the Nadezhda River. Both of the bridges pictured here are actually called Napoleon's Bridge, but I'm unsure of which one they filmed at. The third known location is in Vojkovic. This is the location where they filmed the ferry crossing scene with Master Hightower. Next is the St. Wenceslas Church in Vizluni. This is an old church that has a wonderful derelict look. We know that the show actually created new doors for the church, which they took with them temporarily for filming, but eagle-eyed Detective Narg spotted new doors hanging out in the church recently, so they seem to have since been returned. Dolsky Min is another great location that's the ruins of an old mill. We know that scenes with wolf dogs were filmed here at the end of November. The final known location for this block is Pruhonitz Park. The park is huge, so I can't really speculate what they were filming, but they did film somewhere around this red circled area. So now I'm going to break down the block week by week with the information we know of. But before I get into it, I wanted to give a huge shout out to Narg. If you don't already know Narg, he is an amazing source of information for the show. Much of this information comes courtesy of Narg's own sleuthing, which I will indicate with a picture of our favorite Trolloc. Be sure to follow him on Reddit, Twitter, or Instagram at The Daily Trolloc. I also want to give a huge shout out to another source of information, Wheel of Time series, or Watt series for short. Watt series works tirelessly to bring new information about the show to us. So after this video, be sure to check out wattseries.com for more deep dives into the TV show. Here we have the first two weeks of filming, the weeks of September 16th and 23rd. From my understanding, filming is usually done between Monday through Friday, so unless I know otherwise, I'm going to assume that the cast and crew have Saturday and Sunday off. In my next video, I will start taking weekends into greater account as we have more actors to keep track of, but for now, let's focus on this video. We know this photo was the first day of filming, and we also know that this set is Emmons Field because of this tweet by Rafe Judkins. When Johan Myers was announced, Rafe said that the very first shot of the show was Parad Fain riding his cart into the two rivers. Now don't misunderstand, this is probably not going to be the first scene we see in the final product, merely the first shot filmed. This first week was the only week the young actresses playing Matt's younger sisters were in Prague, also, this photo was taken by a passerby on Friday the 20th. 
and from the number of trailers, trucks, and tents, it looks like something was being filmed that day. Here you can see a closer view. So I think it's safe to assume that filming for the entire first week of production took place on the Emmons Field set. For the following week, this photo was posted on the 24th. And these photos, which were stitched together by Reddit user The Angush, were posted the day after on the 25th. This photo of a Two River Sheep was also posted by Rafe Judkins on the 25th. Now, this might be a good time to note that I realized that the date posted doesn't necessarily equate to the date the picture was actually taken, but unless stated, the post date is what we have to work with. Alright, back to week 2. Daniel Henney posted that he was drinking coffee the night of the 24th to prepare for night shoots, so they filmed the night of the 24th through the morning of the 25th. I'm not sure whether this would count as a night shoot on the 24th or the 25th, but I'm going to label it on the 25th because of this. Back in August, the agency that hires extra for the show posted that they were looking for an Asian stand-in for their secret project, W. In the post, they included tentative dates the stand-in would be needed through the end of October. So I'm going to go ahead and label those dates with a little Daniel Henny head. Again, I'm going to go ahead and guess that week 2 was primarily shot at Emmons Field. Now let's move on to the next two weeks. September 30th was when we first saw hints online that production had moved to Slovenia. On October 1st, a diver said this about this picture. The chances of another top secret fantasy series filming in Slovenia the same time as The Wheel of Time is pretty slim, so I'm fairly certain this drift dive was for the show. This picture was taken at the source of the Socha River, or Isvider Socha, way off in the countryside. On the second, this was posted by someone with links to the show. And so was this video. If you ask me, they remind me of this picture posted by Rafe of Rand in the Mountains in a location called Mangart Saddle. So that would make me guess that this photo was taken on the second. But Rafe also posted this on Twitter on the second. I was in the mountains watching Moraine, Lan, and some kids from the two rivers race their horses across a river. Speaking of which, this photo was posted on that day as well. I'm pretty positive that this is the same location as in this photo, with a horse that looks suspiciously like Mandar. Looks like a good place for crossing a river on horses. It's possible they filmed both those scenes on that day, but like I said, I don't know about TV production. I do know that one of these following photos was posted the next day on October 3rd. But when you're carrying all that equipment in the mountains, I imagine it's hard to post to social media right away. So for that reason, I'm going to guess that this scene with Ran was shot on the 2nd, as was the scene of everyone crossing the river. Again, I could be wrong. On the 3rd, a hiker ran into the production and shared this photo. This was taken at Velika Korita, or the Great Socha Gorge. Catering was set up slightly south from this location. I mention this because it looks like this could be where Yosha took this picture, which he also posted online that day. So it's possible he also filmed in that scene the hiker happens upon. Here's a slightly zoomed in version so you don't have to squint as much to try and make up details. The fourth was pretty quiet, but this photo was posted online that day by someone associated with the show. Unfortunately, I don't have enough information to tell you if it's part of a scene or not, but I can also tell you that Lan had that day off, so no Lan scenes for the fourth. On the fifth, that previously mentioned photo of a black horse was posted by Narg. This photo was also posted that day by someone with a show. Also on this day, two people posted about Saturday night shoots, so some night shooting was done on this day. By the way, yes, the 5th is a Saturday. The catering for these night shoots was at Le Bunch, which as you can see, isn't too far from the Napoleon Bridge on the Ladesia River. So perhaps we'll see some nighttime scenes at this bridge on the show. Multiple people posted about the 6th and 7th being days off, so I'm going to black out the 7th. Now, October 9th is when Rafe posted that he would miss Slovenia. He also posted this image to Twitter that day with the hashtag Tiniest spoiler, if you squint very hard, you can see a person in the middle of the field. 
Again, I don't know when this photo was taken exactly, but I'm going to just file it under the knife. Here are a couple more scenes we know of through other means. This picture was one of a handful published by a Slovenian website, 24ur.com. They were taken at Malakovita, or the small Socha Gorge. Here's a picture from the bridge. If it looks familiar, it could be because it bears a striking similarity to this picture I showed you that was posted on October 5th. So it appears that the photos from 24ur.com were taken on October 5th. If you look closely, you can see someone who looks like a stunt woman with a long braid. So this scene likely has either Nynaeve or Egwene in it. Speaking of the girls, another scene is the one described here by Rafe. A scene with Nynaeve and Egwene in a remote gorge. Again, we don't know when this was filmed, but considering Zoe posted a picture of her son in Prague on the 7th, it's likely that it was the first week from September 30th to October 5th. So that's Slovenia. But before we move on, it's speculation time. David Luther is the director of photography for episodes 3 and 4, and presumably 7 and 8, and he was in Slovenia. This is an oddity because from what we know, Block 1 contains episodes 1 and 2. So what could this mean? Was he there to film a scene for one of those other episodes? Or perhaps he was there to help with filming another unit? These two photos can be linked to David Luther, and they were both posted online on the 2nd. If this scene with Ran was indeed taken on the 2nd, could Luther be involved with this scene? It's all speculation at this point, so what do you think? Write your theories in the comments below. Back to our calendar. The 10th and 11th were dates for Lan's stand-in, and someone on the show posted about night shoots on the 11th. We know the location was somewhere in Prague. It could be the Emmonsfield set again, or it could be somewhere else. Moving on to our next two weeks. Have some land courtesy of that call for a stand-in. Although, Daniel posted about hopping a train on the 22nd, so maybe the original plans were changed. Filming we know of was done in Vojkovic on the 23rd, and again on the 25th. Both of those days were night shoots. It makes more sense to film at a location on subsequent days, so I assume that the 24th was also at this location. The next two weeks brings us to our last land stand-in day, so here you go. I can also add a land head to the 8th of November thanks to Daniel Henney posting that he was in his trailer that day. I don't have information for the 28th and 29th beyond somewhere in Prague, but on the 30th, filming was done in the Church of St. Wenceslas in Visluni. On October 31st, filming was done in Dolsky Mim with wolf dogs. Thanks to articles online and some great sleuthing by Narg, it seems that filming took place there on November 1st. You can see equipment set up around the buildings and the riverbed, giving us hints as to where they shot. The following Monday on November 4th is when they filmed at Pruhonitz Park. As I mentioned before, the park is huge and appears to have quite a bit of forest, so we don't know exactly what type of scene was filmed here. The next day, Extra Films Agency put this urgent notice that they were looking for more teenagers, ideally even ethnic types. My guess is this notice is probably not for this week, but I could be wrong. Now on November 1st, NARC shared that these scenes of the Emmonsfield set getting roughed up a bit were posted online. If we assume that this roughing up is to show the village post-winter night, then any scenes that take place after that event need to be filmed from this week on. So without any other information on where they filmed for this week, I'm going to label the days as somewhere around Prague, possibly the Emmonsfield set. So that takes us into what I think is the ninth and final week of filming for this block. Why do I suspect this is the last week of Block 1? Well, first of all, an actor who worked on the show during Block 1 posted this on November 13th. This person has a minor role, so their personal rap date doesn't necessarily indicate that a block is beginning to rap, but there's a lot of other indicators as well. Rafe announced that the Season 2 Writer's Room was starting, also on November 13th. Daryl McCormack was announced on the 12th. Alexandre Willam was off to shoot a new show on the 12th and that new show is probably Wheel of Time. A brand new location was being prepped on the 14th for shooting on the 19th. Pasha Bukhari was in Prague on the 16th. Claire Perkins left for Prague on the 17th. And Alvaro Morte was in Prague on the 17th. In case you're not up to date on the news, all of these actors are Wheel of Time cast members. I'll give you more information about them in my next video. 
Finally, remember that urgent call for teenage extras? Usually extra films post their casting calls months in advance. To me, an SOS would indicate a much shorter time frame, perhaps a few weeks? The need for new specific extras suggests to me a new scene, probably for a new block of episodes. So that's block one. Whew. What did you think of my first deep dive into my notes? Did you learn something new? Did I forget anything? Did you have any favorite pieces of information? Go ahead and leave a comment below, and if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Next up is block two. If you want to know when the next video is released, follow me on Twitter or subscribe and click the bell icon for notifications. Thanks for watching!